Well, the Department of Public Works initiated the process today by formally sending a letter to the Department of Administration notifying them of our recommended uh, positions to be reduced within DPW. And those positions are all within the Capital Improvement Projects Division. DPW has recommended layoffs for the Chief Planner, the Planner 2, the Engineer Supervisor, and two Engineer 2 positions, a total of five positions. But this doesn't necessarily mean that the people in these positions will be laid off. This will be determined by the Department of Administration through a lengthy process. Some employees will have bumping or displacement rights along with other rights pursuant to DOA's personnel rules and regulations. But why the Capital Improvements Project Division? We couldn't cut, cut bus operations. We don't have enough right now to supply the 38,900 kids we, we transport every day. Can't do it in highway maintenance. We don't have enough personnel as it is to take care of. Obviously, you go and see it out in our roadway. Uh, there's more work that needs to be done there. We can't cut our fleet maintenance. We have six mechanics every day that maintain 120 plus buses, of which half are beyond their lifespan. Um, our administrative division that has been reduced by six positions since January due to retirement that, that addresses the overall operations department can't be cut. Brown so, says that their uh, mandates are increasing while their manpower has decreased by nearly half since 1981. The other reality, though, I've had to deal with as director since we came on board in January is trying to make sure we pay our vendors, make sure we pay our fuel bill that we need to pay every day to make sure that our buses operate. Um, that's the challenge we have.